that cloning research can help save many lives. And of course, in Iran also, Iranian scientists are doing their best not to miss out on this chance. As you probably know, Royana, Iran's first cloned lamb, was born in 2006. Now let's join Feydun Sadaqzadeh as he tells us about henna, a cloned goat that is the first one in the Middle East. The Middle East's first and the world's fifth clone goat, Hanna, was successfully born at Royan Institute in Esfahan, Iran. The cloned goat was developed in the surrogate uterus of a black Bakhtiari goat for 147 days and was born on Wednesday, April 15, 2009 at 1.30 a.m. through a caesarean section. She's reported to be in good health. Hanna is completely distinguished from other goats because of her white and henna-like colors. Iran's first cloned lamb, Royana, was born on September 30, 2006 in Royan Institute and was able to survive the postnatal complications common in cloned animals. I brought these two goats over here for procedure at Royan Institute in Isfahan. Uh, the procedure is going to be done in a few minutes and we're going to take you inside and show you uh, what this procedure is all about. Research using stem cells derived from human embryos has been hotly debated ever since scientists first established human embryonic stem cell lines in 1998. The ability of these cells to differentiate potentially into any human cell type has spawned great hopes for a revolution in regenerative medicine. But research using stem cells has been accompanied from the very beginning by an intense debate about the ethical issues of using human embryos for biomedical research. This has led to moratoria, regulations and limitations on this research in various countries. Iranian researchers are looking to use cloned goats to produce the genetically modified animals required for manufacturing new recombinant medications and plan future experiments they hope will lead to a treatment for stroke patients. The effort is part of Iran's quest to become a regional powerhouse in advanced sciences and technologies by 2025. The Iranian government cites the Royal Institute as the jewel in its scientific crown. While HANA was produced through a more advanced SCNT or cloning procedure, which is called Zona Free. SCNT or zone of free cloning, which will remove the shield around the oocyte. The main focus of cloning is now on biofarming, which means you can make a recombinant protein through milk production through the cloning technology. That uh, we have a, uh, one of the proteins that we want to produce is called TPA or tissue plasminogen activator. This drug has a good use for treatment of uh, uh, myocardial infarct. Um, the Islamic view is, as you said, we believe you know, that science is for helping human, provided that its ethical issues are considered and it, uh, it's not abused. According to Dr. Nasr, in the cutting-edge field of human embryonic stem cell research in Iran, Scientists work with a freedom that researchers in countries such as the U.S. can only dream of. Broad government approval, including government funding, to work on the potent cells from early stage embryos that researchers believe hold the promise to cure many human diseases. Iran's cloning program has also the backing of Iranian Muslim religious leaders who have issued decrees authorizing animal cloning but banning human reproductive cloning. This is Hannah, the new cloned goat. 
right here, Hanna is, um, let's see, look at this one over there. It, it runs away real fast. That, uh, Hanna was cloned from this goat. Uh, here you have Royana, the cloned uh, sheep, and Royana no. was cloned from this one right over here. Royan Institute is a non-profit public organization established in 1991 as an infertility clinic. In 1998, this institute was approved by the Ministry of Health as a cell-based research center. Now this institute acts as the leader of stem cell research in Iran and is one of the best clinics for infertility treatment in the world. Freydun Salehzadeh, reporting from Isfahan, for Iran.